Now this question says, through how many degrees would you turn if you turned from northeast to south in a clockwise direction? Now you might be wondering what is this question asking, but let's read it one more time. It says, through how many degrees? So this word degrees is very important. Would you turn if you turned from northeast to south? So we're going from northeast to south in a clockwise direction. And we're also turning in which direction? A clockwise direction. Now let's look at this. So we have a compass, right? And we know a compass is going to be a circle divided in different points. Now the most important thing to remember about a circle is it has 360 degrees. So let's write that down somewhere. We know this circle has 360 degrees. Now in this compass, we have different points. The four main points are going to be north, south, east, and west. But we also have four additional points. Between north and east, we have northeast. Between east and south, we have southeast. Between south and west, we have southwest. And between west and north, we have northwest. So they want us to find out how many degrees would we have to turn from northeast to south in a clockwise direction. So let's start at northeast. So we know this is northeast right here. And they want us to know how many degrees will we have to turn in order to get to south. And we know south is right here. And it tells us we're going in a clockwise direction, which means we're going this way. This circle or this compass has four 90 degrees. We know from north to east is going to be 90 degrees. Now from east to south, we're going to have 90 degrees again. From south to west, we're going to have another 90 degrees. And finally, from west to north, we have 90 degrees. Now that we have this established, we know between north and east, it's 90 degrees. Therefore, to find the angle between the four main points, all we're going to do is say 90 divided by 2. Now, when we set this up, we know 90 divided by 2. If we was to solve for this, 90 divided by 2 is going to give us 45. And because we're dealing with degrees, we're just going to write back degrees. Therefore, between northeast and east, we have 45 degrees. Therefore, from east to southeast is going to be what? Exactly, 45 degrees again. From southeast to south, we're going to have another 45 degrees. And this is where the problem stops, because we're going from northeast to south. So we're going to start at northeast and stop at south. Now to find out how many degrees we would have turned, we're just going to say 45 plus 45 plus 45. So we know we're going from northeast to east. And that's 45 degrees. Then once we get to east, we're going from east to southeast. And that's also 45 degrees. And remember, we're adding all of this. And finally, we have southeast to south. We have 45 degrees one last time. Now when we add this, 5 plus 5 is going to give us 10. 10 plus 5 is going to give us 15. So we're going to write 5, carry 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 4 is 9. And 9 plus 4 is 13. So we're just going to write 13. And we're going to bring back the degree symbol. Therefore, this is going to be our answer for this problem. So to go from northeast to south, we are going to have to turn 
135 degrees.